Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be an update for the Project Tea project that I'm doing on my channel. I have some teas that have been finished and I have some teas that I'm rolling in and some teas have progress, some teas don't have progress. So I'm just gonna go through what I've been drinking. Okay, so I have a bunch of empty packets here. I have the Bird and Blend Lemon Sherbet. This originally weighed 18 grams and now has been finished. I have the Bird and Blend Hot Mama Jamma. This originally weighed 13 grams and is finished. I have the Pineapple Mint, which originally weighed something that I didn't write down. Rhubarb and Custard originally weighed 26 grams and now has been finished. Gingerbread Chai, I didn't write down, but now it's finished. Apple strudel, I didn't write down but now it's finished. And Eaton Mess was 15 grams and now that has been finished. I also had two separate tea bags that weren't didn't belong to anything. They were just loose, but they weren't loose. They were in like little sachets like this. I had this one, this is the Burden Blend in Mohi Tea. I finished this up and I had another one which has also been finished. That was a Twinings Elderflower and Cranberry, I think. So I drank that as well. I just don't have the packet for it anymore. So those are all the teas that I have finished, which means that there's a bunch of space now in the teas that I'm rotating through I guess you can say. So I have decided to bring some teas in. This was in my last update but I didn't weigh it and I weighed it today and it weighs 48 grams. I know that I have had a couple from here so it's probably gone down in weight but we will see next time how much each one goes down by basically. I have this. This is another one that was in there before. This is the Biopurus Organic Hemp Tea. This is another one that I didn't write down but it currently weighs 19 grams and as you can see I'm pretty much like down to the bottom here. When I do it, I do it in like the teapot and just leave it to infuse and have a couple from it. So maybe like two or three more teapots worth and then this will be finished. I have the Twinings Warming Chamomile and Spiced Apple. This originally weighed 65 grams and it now weighs 59 grams. I have the Organic Matcha Japanese Ceremonial Matcha Tea Powder that I didn't weigh last time but I weighed it today and it is 69 grams. I have the Puka Womankind Tea Bag this originally weighed 49 grams and today it weighs 46 grams. I have the Twinings Cold Infuse Rose Lemonade. I didn't weigh this last time, completely forgot, put it on my side, didn't put it with the rest of the teas, forgot about it. But actually I've been drinking it organically so I only have one tea bag left in here. So I'm not even going to bother weighing it today. I didn't weigh it last time, we're not going to weigh it today. We just know that there's one bag left and it will probably be done by the next time. I also had this pot, this Tupperware pot, which has all different kinds of little sachets in. This originally weighed 111 grams and today it weighs 90 grams. I have the Twinings Pure Green Tea. This still weighs 48 grams. I've not been reaching for green tea to be honest and if I do then it's more of like a flavoured green tea rather than just a pure green tea so don't put that on my notes because otherwise I can't read them. I have the Twinings Blackcurrant Burst. This originally weighed 50 grams and it still weighs 50 grams and the last one that's rolling in is the Burden Blend Mohi Tea. This originally weighed 219 grams and still weighs 219 grams but that's only because I had that separate tea bag. I did actually reach for a mohi tea. I really wanted one but I went for the tea bag to get that done rather than going from the tin. So if I feel like that again then I will go for the tin now. And the two that I'm rolling in I have this bag which was just an assortment of spare mint teas that I took into work in a bag to keep safe without having to take the whole box. This bag weighs 36 grams and it's literally just spare mint tea. So I'm gonna drink those. And to replace the cold infuse that's gonna be finished after I finish that one, I have the Twinings cold infuse apple, cucumber, mint and green tea. And this one weighs, did I weigh this? Why didn't I weigh this? This is one I didn't weigh. Let me weigh it now. 57 grams. This one weighs 57 grams and is like pretty much all the way full. So looking forward to drinking these. I actually really like this flavor. It's probably why it's really full. I probably drank it twice and went, yep, that's nice. I'm saving that for forever. And then they went to the back of the cupboard and I haven't used them since. So I'm gonna get some use out of those and finish those up. Goals for next time. Obviously we need to finish this, this one tea bag. I would actually also like to maybe finish the Womankind. Seeing as it's getting down there now, I have less than 10 bags left, I think. So I have exactly 10 bags left. So I could probably get this finished as my aim for the next time on top of finishing this one. So then I probably weren't rolling anything in. The only reason I rolled in this time was because I finished all those bird and blend sachets and I wanted to mix things up. I didn't just want to have what was left over. I wanted different things. 
so that's why I rolled a couple in. Maybe I'll roll a couple in, we'll see how we get. That is everything for my project tea. I hope you enjoyed. I was given a suggestion to drink the tea, but drinking tea while I'm on here is just, we'd be here forever. So instead, I'm just going to tell you what is in my cooler today. And this is the Twinings cooler. This is the one that they designed to go with the cold infused. So this is just cold water with the pink lemonade inside. And honestly, it kind of tastes like Turkish light. It's got that rose watery kind of lemony taste to it. It's not completely flavorful like Turkish delight would be because Turkish delight obviously has sugar and stuff in it, but the rose and the lemon makes it taste like Turkish delight. And I really enjoy this. So that is what I'm drinking today. But yes, I hope you enjoyed this update. Please give it a thumbs up if you did so that I know to keep making these. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep talking to myself if nobody likes them. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.